Rajiv sir, I've been, never been so happy to see you before because I feel so out of place and when they announced your name, I'm like, thank God Rajiv is here. <laughs> so, uh, it's a bit uh, different experience for me and uh, I thank CNN News 18 and Honorable Finance Minister for this um, honor. And uh, would you hold this for me? It's really heavy. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I really f uh, feel um, very happy and I know these words sometimes sound very uh, shallow and cliche at these events because they are so commonly used, but, um, but for me at this juncture of my life, it really means a lot. Uh, I remember the other day when I was, uh, you know, how 2016 has been for me a little too eventful and I was feeling a little, you know, really low and how life can be sometimes can put you down in the dumps and you're like, oh shit, there you are again at the rock bottom, huh? And, and then suddenly you get a call and um, just like a movie scene, just like how we say it in movies, like a, a plot point, turning point, you are Indian of the year and you're like, yay! <laughs> so it's been, it's been that sort of experience for me and um, these events and these sort of uh, thoughtful honors, you may call it, make one's life um, seem like a good screenplay, uh, not a boring film, uh, and make you believe in the concept of magic, which I feel is very important for artists to believe in. Um, so thank you, CNN, for making my life a good film. <laughs> Kangana, um, the Mumbai film industry is currently going through probably its most vocal battle with the censor board. Uh, Mr. Jaitley spoke about it recently. You've heard, about, of course, about the controversy surrounding uh, Urta Punjab. The film industry has really come together to express outrage over what they believe is a move to silence their creativity or to really uh, curb their, 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 their freedom of expression. You know, as, an, as a prominent artist working in the film industry, how do you weigh in and where do you weigh in on that matter? Well, it's, it's, uh, we all have been very concerned with uh, the things have, the way things are going and the way, um, you know, how we, I, I, I'm not a director and I've never been to a, uh, been through that process, but my very close friends and people I closely work with, uh, they seem extremely uh, disturbed with the way things are and to an extent they feel bullied. We don't have to have that sort of parental attitude towards audiences that we need to protect them from. Like for example, like I'll, I'll speak from my experience. In my film Queen, we had a little shot of, uh, in that part where I share my room with boys, so there was a little funny moment where a guy spots my brown bed, just lying on the bed, and I, and I just sort of put it under the blanket or something like that. So my director called me and told me the sensor is blurring the bra. So I was like, they're blurring it, so you can't see the bra anymore. And like, so how would anyone one make out if it was a bra? They're like, they think it's uh, vulgar, so they will blur it. And my director, who was furious about it, they had to, like for us, how we source uh, being artists, I would just take 30 seconds of your time and I would tell you all how we see a film prop. We don't see it as a danger to society, like a woman's bra is not a danger to society. There's nothing vulgar about it. <laughs> so, so I remember we were shooting in Paris and our designers, Rushi Manushi, they did intense research on the kind of undergarment a woman like Queen or Rani would wear. Like there are so many kind of bras that are out there, you know, and they can define the, the character of an individual and the choices that they make. So it was a peculiar sort of fabric and it was carried all the way from Lajpat Nagar to Paris for that one shot. <laughs> and, and cinema is all about detailing. That would have made our world so much more real and would have really helped audiences to identify with our sincerity and how we are trying to make that world come alive for them. But that was taken away from us for those goddamn breasts. <laughs> So, I would say that we need our own creative freedom and uh, I, we are definitely uh, sort of pressed against the wall and that's why there is so much outrage and I hope that uh, it will be addressed 
and <laughs> and <laughs> and I hope that uh, we will there won't be any such incidences in future. All right. Kangana, we have a question from our executive editor, uh, Bhupen yeah, Chauvet. Well, well, actually, a you know. Um, okay, so I told you just because I told you that be nice to me, so you got your friend to do the, uh, the uh, obvious. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. No, no. Actually, quite on the contrary, I have someone who's your great fan here, and he also happens to be a union minister. Babul Supriya is here, and Babul, what? You got a song for for Kangana today? Or a question? Well, I, I wouldn't. I just or a want comment to comment on what she's just spoken about censorship. I just want to congratulate you for whatever you said and making uh, Rajiv Masand look like a uh, butler by holding your uh, trophy for <laughs> such a long time. I think I think that just suits a queen. That's queens. That's what queens do. They don't even carry their own laurels. And Rajiv has been really mean to some Bollywood directors and actors. So I think he deserves that. Uh, so uh, in his reviews, of course, not not otherwise. I would just ask you to express a few of the sentiments, which are very, uh, very uh, genuine and has really come out of the heart. Heart is a organ which is really missing from the world today. So if you could please say the same thing in the jarred accent that you did in the film, we would really be very honoured. थारी लगाए लगे तो हमारी जी सी पर मैं पर मैं थारी लगा रही सॉरी सॉरी आई कैन दैट्स गुड इनफ थैंक यू सो मच फॉर थैंक्स फॉर बीइंग स्प्रोडिंग थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू फॉर ऑलवेज सेइंग इट लाइक इट इज कंगना रनौत थैंक यू हु विल बी द सीएनएन न्यूज़ 18 इंडियन ऑफ द ईयर 2022 कैच द ग्रैंड फिनाले ऑफ द मोस्ट अवेटेड न्यूज़ इवेंट ऑफ द ईयर ऑन 12th अक्टूबर 6 पीएम ऑनवर्ड्स ओनली ऑन सीएनएन न्यूज़ 18